In her introduction, The Read of God, Carol Hauslander recounts for us how, as a child, someone whom she greatly respected told her, never do anything that Our Lady would not do, for if she did, the angels in heaven would blush. Carol took the older person's advice to heart, and for a short time she avoided doing those simple pranks that often spelt joy for her as a child, but would be considered questionable for anyone choosing to imitate the holiness of Mary. But she tells us that her inoculation of piety wore off rather quickly, primarily because she found it difficult to imagine Mary, the mother of God, doing anything that she liked to do simply because she couldn't imagine Mary doing anything at all. I think this simple story speaks for many of us because I believe there are many people who in loving Our Lady still think of her as someone who never did anything that we do. To many of us, Mary is the Madonna of the Christmas card, kneeling in quiet contemplation on the immaculately clean stable of golden straw and shining snow. She is almost surreal. Nothing about her is ordinary, not even the stable in which love is born. In many people's minds, the Mother of God comes to mean only a pale statue or a bright picture or a tiny metal, or a great stained glass window. We forget that Mary, the mother of God, on earth was and in heaven, is a person. I believe what makes us truly love a particular saint are the little human details we discover about their lives. For instance, I love St. Catherine of Siena because she loved her garden and she gilded tiny oranges to humor a very difficult pope. Such simple things make me forget that she was so fiercely ascetic and that for years she fed only on the Blessed Sacrament. But it is Our Lady and no other saint who we can readily imitate. All the canonized saints had special vocations and special gifts for their fulfillment. Each of them has his or her special work, a work particular to that holy person. For instance, Mother Teresa, she worked for the poorest of the poor. St. Alphonsus, the founder of the Redemptorist, he preached to the most abandoned. Martin de Porres ministered to the slaves in the galley ships in Peru. But Mary had to include in her vocation, in her life's work, the essential thing that was to be hidden in every other vocation, in every, every life. She is not only human like the other saints, she is humanity. The one thing that she did and does is the one thing that we all have to do, and that is we need to bear Christ into the world.